In today's story, we will see a person who was struggling with a lot of problems in his life. It was only because of his way of thinking. He thought that human life is very painful. He thought that the life of animals is better than that of humans. Because they do not have to face so many problems, we humans are always worried while animals and birds live happily. So let us know how Buddha changed his thinking and how he came to know that human life is the most precious but before that. So that you can get lost in the story, please like and subscribe the video. So let's start without any delay. Friends, a person was moving very fast on a road and then suddenly he collided with another person. On this, the other person got angry. He says, hey, you are an animal, can't you see that you are continuously moving forward like a bull? On this, the first person says, I wish what you are saying was true, but unfortunately, I am a human being. This is from the mouth of the first person. Hearing this, the anger of the second person calmed down, and he said to the first person, It seems that you are very sad, otherwise you would not have called good fortune as bad luck, because being born as a human being is a matter of great good fortune. The life of a human being is met with great difficulties. Have you ever seen an animal commit suicide? Have you ever seen an animal betray another animal? Have you ever seen an animal betray its past? Or have you seen him worried about his future? In such a situation, how can a human being's life be a matter of good fortune? It is better than this, that the life of animals is the life of animals. We humans have also gone through the times of animals. Hearing all these words of that first person, he, the second person says, it seems that you are very sad. There is a big problem in your life. If it is so, then you will get the solution from Mahatma Buddha, then go there. Only then the first person says, who is there? Is there a saint? Is there a Mahatma or a sage? He is a Muni, a Pandit. If he is one of these, then none of them can help me. I have met many such people and they do not have any solution to my problem. On this, the other person says, He is not one of these, but I don't even know what he is. I just know that whoever goes to him, he solves all his problems very easily. Whoever comes to him, he leaves all his sorrows and pains there and goes away. After listening to that second person, the first person felt that he should also meet Mahatma Buddha. He said to that second person, Okay, brother, if you say so, then I will meet him once and see him also. What is it like? It is a thing that solves people's problems very easily. Having said this, the person set out to meet Mahatma Buddha the very next day. After traveling for three consecutive days, he finally reached Mahatma Buddha when he met Mahatma Buddha. When he came closer, he saw that Mahatma Buddha was preaching to all his disciples. Mahatma Buddha was saying that the life of everyone present on this earth is very precious, but human life is priceless. By using it, man can reach the highest peak of life, and due to this human life, we humans can also come down from the animals. As soon as this sermon of Mahatma Buddha ended, all the people sitting there left from there, then that person came close to Mahatma Buddha, and he bowed to Mahatma Buddha. He says, O oh Buddha, you say that our human life is precious. After all, what is there in our human life that is so precious? We worry, remain worried, we are always worried about our future like this. Thousands of problems keep going on in the life of human beings. But what do you know? You are a saint. You have given up all these things. And that is why perhaps you can say all these things very easily. I think that human beings... The life of animals is very difficult, we should end it. Have you ever seen any animals? Neither do they worry nor do they have any kind of problem nor do they live in any trouble, they live their life happily. Neither do they worry about their past nor their future. Neither do they cheat anyone, nor do they complain to anyone. They just keep living their life. And on the other hand, the life of us humans is exactly like this. On the contrary, I think that human life is worse than animal life. Human life is a curse that we have got. In such a situation, what qualities do you see in human life that you keep telling lies to people that we man's life is very precious, very valuable? During this time, Mahatma Buddha was listening carefully to all the words of that person and he was understanding his mood. At last, Mahatma Buddha smilingly said to that person, Pante, 
you are running away from the struggles of your life. Yes, if you do not struggle, then how will life become successful? And when we run away from struggles, then our life becomes subordinate to others, and then we have to follow the rules of others. Hence, we have to struggle for our life. Hearing this from the mouth of Mahatma Buddha, the man was very surprised. He immediately bowed down to Mahatma Buddha, fell at his feet and said to him, O oh Buddha, how did you know that I ran away from struggles in my life? Whenever any problem arises in my life, I am not able to face it. Rather, I want to leave it and run away. Further, Mahatma Buddha says to that person, Do you think that the life of animals is a million times better than ours? Because they cannot end their own life because they do not betray anyone, nor do they worry about the future. It does not mean that there is no struggle in the life of animals, from birth to death. When they are small, their lives are in danger. They struggle to save their lives. As they grow up, they have to struggle to feed themselves, no matter who is in front of them. However, no matter how big the circumstances are in front of them, they never shy away from struggle. But we humans get scared of small struggles. If we start struggling in our lives like those animals, then man's life will automatically end. Only if a human being struggles so much in his life, he can achieve it. Whereas even after struggling so much, an animal is not able to do anything in his life. This is the reality, that there is no life without struggle. Our life cannot go on without struggle. Be it a king or a beggar, there is struggle in everyone's life. Whoever does not struggle against these circumstances, be it a human or an animal, will be doomed. It is certain to happen. On this the person says, O oh Buddha, can you give me something by which all the struggles of my life go away from me forever? All my worries, all my problems, all my troubles go away forever, and may my life become happy forever. Hearing this from that person, Mahatma Buddha once again started smiling and said to that person, Ponte, I cannot give you that thing, but yes, I can definitely tell you the way to reach there. I can say that if you struggle to reach there, then you will reach there, and you will get that thing. But remember one more thing for me, that it does not mean that from now onwards, there will be troubles or problems in your life. Troubles and problems will stop in your life. They will keep coming, but their impact on you will be greatly reduced. Sorrows and problems will come in your life, but they will not be able to touch you, and in such a situation, no matter how much someone tries to hurt you, don't let anyone try to deceive you, no matter how much they try to deceive you. You will never be deceived. Everything will be with you, but still, he will stay away from you. After listening to this statement of Mahatma Buddha, the person folded both hands in front of Mahatma Buddha and said to Mahatma Buddha, he says, O oh Buddha, tell me, what is that thing? And where can I get it? I can do anything to get that thing. I will put my full effort, but I will die only after achieving that thing. Mahatma Buddha said to that person, Think, Lobhante, once you have started the path, you will have to continue on that path until you reach your destination, and this path will be full of extreme struggles. Will you be able to reach your destination? On this the person says, You show me that path. I will walk on it. I will struggle till my last breath, but I will die only after achieving that thing. Mahatma Buddha says on this, Listen, the name of that thing is peace, which is deep within your mind like the waves of the ocean. On the surface, they appear very sharp and jumpy, seeing which our mind gets scared, but on the contrary, deep inside it is very calm, and in the same way, that peace is hidden in the depths of our mind too. You will have to find that peace in the depths of your mind, you will have to struggle for that peace, and if you do not deviate from the path, then as I have told you, you will get all that you want. Hearing this from the mouth of Mahatma Buddha, that person says, O oh Tathagata, I thought that you will tell me something which I will discover in any condition, and after that my life will become happy. In this world, something which has not been discovered can be discovered, but how can I find it within my mind? I can go there. What is the route that goes there? What is the ride that goes there? the route on which I can reach there by walking or by that ride. On this Mahatma Buddha started smiling and said to that person, Pante, there is no one there. The ride does not go there, nor can a person go there on foot. Yet it is a path, 
and one has to walk on that path. On this the person says, O Buddha, please tell me how I can attain inner peace in my mind by walking on that path. On this, Mahatma Buddha said, Who is the most powerful person in this world? There is no shortage of things. In response to this, Mahatma Buddha says, No, the most powerful thing in this world is desire, and this desire is running this world. Whoever is doing anything is the result of his desire. His karma is everything. Everything is going on according to his wish. As far as a Chakravarti emperor is concerned, one wish can destroy even a Chakravarti emperor, and on the contrary, one wish can destroy a common man. Whoever is there in this world, wherever he is, in whatever situation he is, it is according to his will. It is the result of his will. On the strength of his will, man can achieve anything in this life. But it is also a reality that man is not able to control his desires, due to which everything keeps happening in his life which he does not want. The bad desires of our mind attract bad things towards us, hence the desires are very strong. We should think carefully and do what we want in our life. We can decide only by our own will. On this the person says, O oh Buddha, then what if I wish that I get inner peace of my mind? Will he give me that? Only then, Mahatma Buddha says that desire is definitely the most powerful desire in this world. But still, man nurtures different types of desires in his life. But all those desires are not fulfilled. Do you know why? Because it is difficult to fulfill that desire. One more thing is required to do it, and that one thing is always lacking in a person's life. Do you know about it? On this, the person says, No Buddha. I do not know what that thing is. Only then, Mahatma Buddha says, Without resolution, desire is meaningless. Without resolution, no matter how big a wish you make, it can never be fulfilled. The stronger your resolution, the greater are the chances of your wish being fulfilled and the weaker your resolution is. The desire will also be equally weak. On this, the person says to Mahatma Buddha, O oh Buddha, it means that if I have a desire to get peace and I am determined to get it, will I get that peace? Only then Mahatma Buddha says, although determination gives strength to the desire, but even after having the desire and determination, the ride does not go there nor can a person go there on foot, yet it is a path and one has to walk on that path. On this the person says, O oh Buddha, please tell me how I can attain inner peace in my mind by walking on that path. On this Mahatma Buddha said, who is the most powerful person in this world? There is no shortage of things. In response to this, Mahatma Buddha says, No, the most powerful thing in this world is desire, and this desire is running this world. Whoever is doing anything is the result of his desire. His karma is everything. Everything is going on according to his wish. As far as a Chakravarti emperor is concerned, one wish can destroy even a Chakravarti emperor, and on the contrary, one wish can destroy a common man. Whoever is there in this world, wherever he is, in whatever situation he is, it is according to his will. It is the result of his will. On the strength of his will, man can achieve anything in this life. But it is also a reality that man is not able to control his desires, due to which everything keeps happening in his life which he does not want. The bad desires of our mind attract bad things towards us, hence the desires are very strong. We should think carefully and do what we want in our life. We can decide only by our own will. On this the person says, O oh Buddha, then what if I wish that I get inner peace of my mind? Will he give me that? Only then Mahatma Buddha says that desire is definitely the most powerful desire in this world. But still, man nurtures different types of desires in his life. But all those desires are not fulfilled. Do you know why? Because it is difficult to fulfill that desire. One more thing is required to do it, and that one thing is always lacking in a person's life. Do you know about it? On this the person says, No Buddha. I do not know what that thing is. Only then Mahatma Buddha says, Without resolution, desire is meaningless. Without resolution, no matter how big a wish you make, it can never be fulfilled. The stronger your resolution, the greater are the chances of your wish being fulfilled and the weaker your resolution is. The desire will also be equally weak. 
On this, the person says to Mahatma Buddha, O oh Buddha, it means that if I have a desire to get peace and I am determined to get it, will I get that peace? Only then Mahatma Buddha says, although determination gives strength to the desire, but even after having the desire and determination, a person is not able to reach his destination because he gets lost on the way, and then after getting tired, he abandons his resolution and gives up his desires. Do you know why this happens? On this the person says, O oh Buddha, I do not know. Then Mahatma Buddha says, because to walk on any path, it is very important to have the knowledge of that path, and this knowledge helps use on that path. It can be achieved only by walking and not by just sitting and thinking, and when we walk on that path, we keep facing small problems and troubles, and we remain trapped in those small problems, and our resolve breaks. The will becomes weak in front of those small problems, and we succumb to those problems and accept defeat, and our entire life then revolves around those problems, and our entire life ends there. On this, the person says, O oh Buddha, I am trying very hard to understand your words, but I am not able to understand all your words. Please try to explain to me clearly and clearly. Then Mahatma Buddha said to that person, Bhante, suppose you have to go to a village and meet a person there, and you have decided that you will meet that person only. You started your journey, but even after many years of efforts, neither that village, nor if I can, neither search nor meet that person, then what happens in such a situation? In response to this, the person says, O oh Buddha, how can this happen if I am alive and the person whom I want to meet is also alive and I know that village? If there is one, then I will definitely meet him. That is why Mahatma Buddha says, Pante, you know the name of that village and you also know the name of the person whom you have to meet, but you do not know in which direction the village is. So in such a situation, which route can you take? What path will you take and which path should you take? If we assume that you have taken an opposite path, will it take you to that village? Will it be able to connect you to that person? On this, the person says, O oh Buddha, in this state, this task is on this. Mahatma Buddha smiles and says to the young man, Pante, I have been trying to explain this to you for a long time. Even after making our will and resolution, it is necessary for us to know the right path, which is the path to find peace. Meditation and meditation is within and not outside. When you move forward on the path of meditation to find peace within yourself and to fulfill your desire, if you move forward on that path, then it is possible that small obstacles may come in your path. Small troubles, problems, or troubles may come, but you will have to face those problems. You will have to fight with them. You will have to struggle with them because that path is completely new for you. And for the first time when we move forward on any path, we do not know that. What will be the next stage and what difficulties are going to come? We will be able to know only after going there. On the other hand, the person who does not get trapped in these small problems remains firm on his resolution and will overcome all that in his life. He achieves something that he wants and after reaching his destination, he also gets immense peace, and when a man achieves his goal, then he has no desire to achieve anything else. Similarly, if you also just move ahead on the path, if you remain so, you will also reach the innermost part of your mind, and after reaching there, you will not need anything, nor will anyone be able to deceive you, nor will anyone be able to rob you, nor will you, no one will be able to hurt you. After reaching that state, there will be neither any attachment, nor any worry, nor any problem. You will be able to come out of that situation very easily, and when you achieve that peace of mind, then you will become a, you will not remain an animal, nor a human being, but you will attain a higher status than humans. And then no sorrow will ever touch you. Then you will not have any problem with anything else, otherwise you will have to worry about the future and neither. You will just remain engrossed in your peace of your past, and no kind of sorrow will ever touch you. Hearing these words of Mahatma Buddha, the man fell at the feet of Mahatma Buddha and said to Mahatma Buddha, O oh Buddha, all your words. It is true, 
I have understood all your words, but still there is a dilemma in my mind. Can't I keep something that will remove all my sorrows, troubles, and difficulties forever? On this, Mahatma Buddha says smilingly, Pante, if you want to keep something from the outside world, then you should give up trying to get that peace because you want to get something from which your problems will never end, but will keep increasing because it is possible for your problems to end. This will not be possible, and do you know why this is so? On this, the person says, O oh Buddha, but why so? Answering this, Mahatma Buddha says, Pahante, because there is already peace outside, there is only peace all around. We can only see the peace outside, but the peace within us does not bother us, and the peace that we are looking for outside is not outside, but within us. Therefore, unless you are able to correct your difference, you cannot do anything outside. Unless everything is right within you, nothing outside will be right. Saying this, Mahatma Buddha calmed down, and the man started thinking about the words of Mahatma Buddha. He has no other path except the path shown by Mahatma Buddha. He took a firm resolve that he will reach that inner peace. He adopted the path of meditation and started moving forward. Now whether that person reaches his destination or not depends on his determination, his willpower, and his path. It depends on continuous progress, and it also made the society understand that human life is not worse than that of animals, but the life given to them is right and they can do better with it.